guys, welcome back to Data Products. In this video, we're going to be going over density plots. Density plots are a nice alternative to histograms. Uh, histograms are kind of tried and true. Density plots are a different way to display uh, the same type of data. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's open up our, our studio. And let's make a new R markdown file. We'll call this density plots. And get rid of all this jazz. All right, so a density plot is a nice alternative to a histogram, like I said. All right, so we're going to set our seed because we're going to be using random numbers uh, generated in this. So if you set a seed, you'll have random numbers but the random numbers will be repeatable, if that makes sense. So it pulls it from a master list of random numbers. And so every time it'll have the same thing. So we're sending our seed. So my data looks like your data. Um, but if you want to mess around, I encourage that. So you can choose a different seed or you can just not set your seed. And then every time you run it, it'll look slightly different. Um, OK, so we're going to make a data set called WData, and we're going to say our sex is a factor where we rep male and female collection, or female, and then male. There we go, geez. And then we're gonna say each of them, we're gonna do 200 of each. And then our weight is gonna be a number from a random distribution. We're going to do 200 of them. Um, and then we're going to do uh, 200, uh, 58. So these are our um, 200 of a normal distribution where the average is 55 for female and 200 of a normal distribution where 58 is the average for male. Um, so this is almost like kilograms. Um, all right, so let's do this. Um, factor singular. Okay, so if you look at this, um, you can see we have our females and this is their weights. Um, and then down below we have males and we have their weights. Um, and you can change it from 55 and 58. You can make the number bigger or smaller. Like I said, play around with it if you'd like. Um, Okay, so now let's get our good old friend dplyr out. Um, and we're going to do some stats here. So uh, mu is going to be group by sex, summarize uh, our group mean equals mean weight. So mu is just going to be our, our mean. Uh, weight not found. W E I G H T. Why is it not found? Uh, 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 group by sex. W data. Mu. Interesting. Oh. I did pipe it. Pipe her down. There we go. Okay. Um, now let's load the graphing package. So let's do ggplot. Oops. Library. ggplot2. Uh, what do we want to set our theme uh, as this time? Uh, I'm going to do classic. And then I'm going to put it on the right this time. Getting crazy over here, right? Let's do my normal top. All right. Um, now let's do the basic plot function. Uh, first, we will create a GG plot object. Okay, um, so we're just going to call this plot um, D for 
SD card. Uh, ppplot, wdata, and our aesthetic um, is going to be x equals weight. Alright, so we have our ggplot object now. Um, now let's do the basic density plots. Alright, um, so we're going to take d for density. We're going to add geom density. And then we're going to do geom v line. It's our aesthetic. X intercept equals mean of weight. And then line type is we'll do a dash line. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, so uh, as you can see here, I thought I set my classic data on this. It's still on dark from the last video. There we go. Uh, yeah, so it'll say, like, if you don't run it with uh, your theme, it'll be whatever it was last. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, we have a bimodal distribution where we have uh, the mean of weight. Um, since I know that I set the females lower than males, which is true in most, most populations, um, we have the mean of the females, the mean of the males, but it's all mixed together, so we get this bimodal. Um, Okay, um, well now, um, now let's change the y-axis to count instead of density. Alright, um, so let's do geom density. Um, Say our aesthetic Jeez. y equals stat count. Our fill is going to be light gray. And we're going to do our P and B line uh, aesthetic x intercept equals. Oops. And then our line type again is going to equal dashed. All right. Mm -hmm. That's going to be like gray. Um, geom density is a stat count fill. Geom v line x intercept mean weight line type equals dashed. Okay, what I oh unexpected. Can I make commas? Nope. Not there. Alright, uh let me look back at this quick. Um choo -choo. Go equals slight gray and geom V line aesthetic x intercept equals mean of weight and type equals dash oh oh and this is supposed to be d not a d there we go okay so we've now filled in our uh, line um and so now instead of having the density on the left hand side here where you know this is like about 20 percent uh or than that, uh, we have count, which makes more sense, right? So like 80, roughly 80 individuals um, at this weight, etc. Um, okay, so now um, let's do this. Density. So we're going to change it to color by sex so we can break apart and see um, 
what's within those two distributions, right? Because we know that females and males are mixed together, together here. Um, dark gray and bold. All right, so now you can see this has been broken apart into the two, the female and the male, uh, which looks a lot better. Um, and then lastly, let's fill the density plots. All right, so let's do a geom density aesthetic sex alpha equals 0.4 so the alpha is the transparency so like how you'll see what that means because we're going to blend the gray and the gold together in some places where they overlap um, so gene and line x intercept equals group mean color equals equals sex uh, data equals mu, which we created before. Um, line type equals dashed. And scale color manual values equals. This is where we choose. So gray for the first group, which would be females. Gold for the second group, which would be males. Scale, fill, manual, values. So this is the same thing, but we're doing fill. So before was scale color manual, which is the outside lines like we did in the last part there. Um, now we're doing the fill. All right, and fail. Unexpected. Where? Up oh, too many. Right there. There we go. So this looks nice, right? So compared to a histogram, you can kind of see the two independent distributions. Um, we have the density as opposed to the uh, the actual uh, counts. Um, you could add the counts if you'd like, um, but this looks nice, right? Uh, so compared to a histogram, it depends on your, your taste. You know, if you like the histogram, uh, you can go with the histogram, um, people are familiar with the histogram, um, but if you want to display two histograms, you can't really overlap them like this, right? So uh, the nice thing with this density plot is that we can put two histograms, essentially, or two distributions onto the same graph. Uh, and by using the alpha, um, you can change you know, the transparency so you can kind of see through where they overlap uh, and, and intersect and things like that. Um, so pretty short video. Uh, about 15 minutes. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the density plot uh, video. Uh, if you caught me on YouTube, please hit subscribe so we can you know, pass this information, get the YouTube algorithms to, to put these videos higher so people will be learning uh, more. Uh, hopefully, I think they're good videos. I hope you think they're good videos. And uh, hopefully, people will start to stumble upon them. Um, but yeah. That's it for this video. We're gonna be getting into more graphing, more plots, preliminary data analysis, shiny apps. Uh, we'll likely be doing some uh, uh, sentiment analysis, and sc scraping Twitter and making word clouds and a bunch of fun stuff like that. So um, keep up to date on the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one.